Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Today we're going to learn how to play Best Song Ever on Guitar. It's super easy, just three chords for the whole song. And I'm going to show you how to play it two ways. One with a capo, like I'm doing now, and one without a capo. Stick around because if you can make these bar chords that I'll show you later, it does sound better. It sounds more like the song than with the capo. But if you can't quite do bar chords yet, you're just learning, this is perfectly fine. So I'm playing D, A, and then E. D goes like this. First finger, second fret, G string. Third finger, third fret, B string. 2nd finger, 2nd fret, high E string. Playing the A through high E strings. Sounds like that. A, 1st finger, 2nd fret G string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret D string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret B string. Playing again the A through high E strings. Sounds like that. E is 1st finger, 1st fret G string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret D string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret A string, play all 6 strings. And it sounds like that. These numbers, these fret numbers are all relative to the capo. So the capo is 0. And it goes like this, it goes 1, 2, of the first chord, D, in the first measure. On beat 4, you're playing the A, so that happens just for one beat, and then E is all of measure 2. So you got to switch to the A pretty, pretty fast. Switch to and from the A pretty fast, so watch out. Now you strum it with the intensity that the section requires. You can do really whatever you want um, as far as your strumming pattern goes, but make sure, again, it follows whether you're on the verse or on the chorus. So without a capo, this goes like this. I'm making an F sharp major chord, C sharp major, and then G sharp major. So this chord's go like this, F sharp major is a bar chord, you're going to bar the second fret with your first finger, and then your third and fourth fingers go on fret four of the A and D strings, and then your second finger is going to grab fret three of the G string, all six strings sound like that. C sharp major is a bar chord like this. First finger plays fret 4 of the A string, and then whatever you can do to grab fret 6 on the D, G, and B strings. There's lots of ways to play this, depending on how flexible your fingers are. So whatever you can do to play these three as well. You don't need to bar this to get the high E string. I don't worry about it. That's C sharp major. Four on the A string, and then six on the D, G, and B strings. After that is G sharp major, which is essentially just F sharp 
that's up two frets, taking the same shape, moving it to fret four. So barring fret four with my first finger, grabbing frets six on the A and D strings, and then fret five, second finger on the G string. That's how you play this song. One chord progression throughout and strum it based on which part of the song you're on. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, send me a message or comment. Please subscribe because I do this every day during the week, giving you guys free tutorials on your favorite tunes. And also, guitar basics. If you guys fish around, you can find how to make arpeggios mostly. So, I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.